here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to try and do a tutorial in Scale 4, Shortcuts a lot 4 that is, on the distribute function. Now you may or may not have come across this one. I have to confess that the only reason I came across it is because I was looking for things to do tutorials on and I saw this and I thought actually I don't think I've ever used this function so what on earth does it do? So, I have some shapes here that I've just taken from the library and they're not grouped or anything so I'm just going to select them and go to the object and you go past a range, past a line and you go to distribute. Now the align function is relatively simple to use. Um, and it makes sense. I went to the distribute function and I looked at the first two things distribute to page or distribute to selection. Well if you distribute to page that's pretty obvious. If you distribute to selection it means that you're distributing within the bounds of the selection box basically. And I'm not altogether sure that that's particularly useful. However the main thing to take away from that is that you have a choice. You can distribute it around the boundary or to the boundary of the actual page, i.e. A4 or whatever you've got it set up to, or to the boundary of whatever objects that you have selected. You obviously do have to have more than one object or this doesn't even come up, okay? So it's for multiple objects. Now I was looking at it and I played with it and I thought I cannot for the life of me work out what this is supposed to do. And so I actually sent an email to Craft Edge who made the software and said, can you explain this to me please because I'm having problems. And basically I was told that the, oops, that this set of menus here, distribute left, uses the left edge of an object to distribute it. Distributing right uses the right side of the object to distribute it. And distribute the center um, distributes from the center of the object. And in most cases, it really doesn't make an awful lot of difference as far as I can see which one you're using. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is I will go to distribute a page and I will use the menu to show you what it actually does. So if I distribute left and this is to page, this is what happens. Okay, undo that. And I'm going to go to these objects. I'm going to group them a second because I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm just going to make a few duplicates so we've got identical things to play with. Uh, just do that, okay. And I'm going to take, oops, take this lot and I'm going to ungroup them again because if you've got them grouped, you're not going to be distributing them very well. So I'm just going to take this one here, yeah, move it over, and uh, go to my distribute to the left. So that's what that one does. I'm going to take this next one and I'm going to go to object distribute. Why? Ah, it's all grouped, isn't it? Hang on, let's just take all this lot and ungroup them. Well, it says they're not grouped, but this particular set was obviously grouped. Okay, ungrouped. Okay, so I'm going to take this little lot and I'm going to distribute them so that they are distributed to the right. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't see there's any great difference between the ones which is distributed to the left and the ones which is distributed to the right. But there we go. That's just me. Take the next lot and I'm just going to ungroup and group them. And go to object, go to distribute again. We've had left, we've had right. Distribute the center horizontally. Let's try that. And let's move these down a bit. And again, it's doing exactly the same positioning. So 
I'm a little bit confused as to why you would really need all these various options. Um, let's go for another one and group it. Uh, whoops, need all of those. Now which one should we choose this time? We've had left, we've had right, and we've had a horizontal. This one will distribute the space horizontally. Now I can understand distributing space horizontally. It means that the spaces in between the objects will be distributed evenly. But again, it's got exactly the same result. I have looked at this and I've done the various uh, things that it's done, and to be honest, yeah, I'm not overly keen on this one. I think I would probably just use the alignment tool to do most things. Um, okay, distribute. Oh, I've got to ungroup it again, sorry. Ungroup. Right, distribute. Top. Distribute bottom. Distribute space vertically. Distribute top. What does that do? Okay, that goes from top to bottom rather than uh, horizontally. So, yeah, I'm not overly bothered about this function. I really don't see as it being awfully useful. Um, maybe someone will come across a really good use for it, but yeah, I'm, I'm not overly convinced. I think it's probably a bit too complicated with all the various options where it probably doesn't need to be. Now, one thing that I would really like Craft Edge to do is actually put in a nesting feature, like the one in Silhouette Studio, where I can select my shapes, I can select a border for them to go into, and then I can put them in. Because if you do that, you have choices, you can, in fact, um, change the gaps between the objects, you could have it so that they were done, um, so that they spiralled out to fit, you could have them done so that they were linear fitting and all sorts of things, but this one, yeah, um, yeah I'm, a, I'm a bit tepid on this one, I'm really not finding it that useful. Partly I think because when I select something I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. Um, with all these different options, it all came up doing exactly the same thing, so why do I need half a dozen ways of doing exactly the same thing? I really don't know. Okay, so this isn't so much as a tutorial as a, if you've got any better ideas video, <laughs> maybe someone will come up with some better ideas of using this. Um, but I haven't been able to come up with anything that I found really handy. So sorry about that. Uh, sorry if you were hoping that you were going to be taught a wonderful method of using this. I haven't found it. As I said, maybe someone else will. Thanks for watching. Bye.